Hello everyone, this is a quick video for a customer who has a nice 200 plug and play patch harness from us. He wants to know how to set his RPM. Um, so very, very straightforward. First thing I am going to do though, is I'm going to show you where to get the latest software from ECU Master. So you can type, go to Google, type in ECU Master Test. Basically click on the first option that comes open. And you're going to scroll down. There's all the, all the software they have, so the ADU, the PMU, and most importantly, here's your black and version 2.129. So you can always cross-reference it against uh, what you currently have. When you open up the software, it'll show you what version you have. So if this you've got a later version downloaded, you can update your firmware, etc. And if people need, I can do videos to show you how to update firmware, etc. As well. All right. So again, just click install. And what I'll do is I'll come back in a second and we'll have the software open and we'll go through exactly what you need to do in the software. So see you in a bit. Right, so now we're in the ECU Master Black software. So this is what you'll open up when you plug into your laptop and this will say connected. So you've got your log table, your crank in your triggers, ignition, fuel, idle, etc. These are the tabs at the top that you're looking at. Uh, in order to adjust the RPM, I normally just open up a new tab just so I have a blank page, not 10 things trying to get in your way. So what you want to do is come to the side here, drop down the tree for the outputs, double click on TACO output, and you'll see auxiliary 4 is what you should be set at because that's the generic output for TACO. And RPM multiplied, that, this is what you're changing. So you can change it to 2, you can change it to three you can change it to 4.5 um, whatever works so you can just adjust it to get the correct reading uh, to help you out what you're going to do is you're going to come down here you're going to go to log click on tune display or double click on tune display then you're going to have all your data there okay so when the car is actually running you can see the rpm and so what you would do then is you would effectively adjust this while at the same time watching your dash and seeing which one gives you the correct figure. Uh, once you've made a change on the ECU, in the top left corner here, you'll see it says make permanent. So give that a couple of clicks just to make sure it's absolutely fine. And then once you turn the ignition off and on again, it'll actually make the change permanent. So the reason they have that is if you do make a change or anything else and you're not quite happy with it, you don't click make permanent, you close, come back in again, it'll boom reset to where you left off before so only use that button if the change you've made you want to make permanent all right so hopefully this has been helpful um we'll try and do videos as and when people ask us questions so if you do have a question and you want a specific subject covered um we don't want to do super long videos so obviously not a massive subject there are plenty of resources around and we can point you over to uh, resources for long videos or training like with hpa academy uh, if you want to actually learn how to tune but yeah short little subjects like this give us a shout we'll do a video hopefully nice and easy to follow and you can actually see like for like what you're working with so hope it's been helpful thanks for watching and speak to you guys soon